Congratulations, North Dakota State. Very, very good football team. Um, there's no way for us to simulate their physicality with our roster currently. But uh, <laughs> I told the guys the national championship goes through these, this team, whether you play them in Fargo, you play them here, or you play them anywhere, for that matter, in the playoffs. And uh, it's an animal that you can't truly understand until you face it. And I got a locker room full of guys that know exactly who Mike Tyson is now. And uh, looking, forward, looking forward to playing them again already. Go ahead, guys. Rob, were you limited with what you could do play calling wise? So you were winning the battle of the trenches. We're gonna have, for us to win this ball game, we were going to have to run the ball. We're going to have to keep them off the field as much as we could. Um, our strength of the offense, the, our age and wisdom, and experience of the offense is the offensive line. And uh, couldn't get that part done. And knew full well that if we just had to sit back and chuck it, that they were going to fresh load eight to ten guys in the pass rush and tee off on us. And that's exactly what they did. Coach, that playing your, your aggressive early on fourth down, is that kind of the mindset you wanted to kind of be aggressive early in the game? I think on the first drive you went for it on fourth in your own territory. Uh, that's, it is my personality. It's the personality of the, the team. Um, and it's also, it's also doing the math. I know how good their offense is. I know how much ground they can chew up. I know how much time they can take off a clock. And for us to even have a chance to win, we have to be more efficient with the ball, and that means if you don't get it on third down, find a way to get it on fourth down. And uh, some of, sometimes we did, not enough. And it, after the big kickoff return, how you know key was that mm. not being able to get points at, at that juncture? Great stop by them, you know, and, and that's me knowing full well who we're going to face. I could have easily kicked the field goal instead of taking the three points, but I knew they were going to score more points. They're a very, very good offense, and we don't have, we just don't have that option right now. So. Uh, I'm disappointed we didn't get it. I'm sure we'll learn from it. But uh, that mentality will probably continue all through the rest of the season. Thank you, Tambor. This is Chris Seidel. Um, to, after tonight's game against North Dakota State, where is, do you think where you guys are with the, uh, the level of play? Is it, because I know North Dakota State's this high. Do you feel like you're like in the middle or you got a long way to go? Uh, they're a very good football team. We're a football team that's getting better with every play. Uh, going to New England and playing a good, very, very good and still undefeated New Hampshire team is a tough contest. Playing the perennial national champions is another tough contest. Traveling to San Diego to play is, will be another tough contest, and then we will have a bye. And then we will play our league schedule. So no, today we are not where we need to be to win our league but we will be by the time we get back into league play. Coach, just describe how hard it is. Like you talk about the physicality, but then I think they hit Watson on a blink play over the top just to stop the run, and then they have weapons on the outside that can, that can get deep as well. Uh, it makes it, It's the ultimate challenge. Pack the, pack the box or stop the run and then pay for it. And it takes a higher level of discipline that we showed, both stopping the run and putting our eyes in the right place to be able to stop that. I asked you guys very nicely to leave him at home, and nobody would agree to do that. So, I, you know, I'm glad he didn't hurt us in the return game. And to be honest, I thought we checked him up pretty good in the pass game. I'll take 160 yards from North Dakota State. I'll take that. That's fine. But need to be able to stop the run to do that as well. Obviously, a long day. Um, you know, we didn't make enough plays from the start. Um, we just got to be better as a Total offense, um, got to help our defense out early. They got a good turnover there. Um, took a ball on special teams to the goal line. We got to get that ball in there too. And I think, you know, kind of changes the course of the game. So when opportunities present themselves, um, you know, we have to take advantage of them. I think that was the name of the game and got lost, you know, kind of behind, had a chance to come out in the half, um, you know, just didn't answer. So I'm um, obviously back, back to the drawing board, but um, got an opportunity next week, big opportunity next week for us to go out to San Diego. So looking forward to that. Gotcha. Chris, did they show you anything differently than you expected on the video, or was that just a tough team to play? Uh, they're definitely aggressive um, and very tough. We knew that going in. Um, I don't think 
you know, they did anything on defense that was outlandish. Um, you know, they dropped guys in coverage. They had a good front four rush. Um, you know, I just don't think we made enough plays, like I said. Chris, you referenced it, but how important was that after the big kickoff return to get zero points? I mean, how big a swing do you think that was at that juncture of the game? Yeah, I mean, thinking back in the game, uh, getting points there makes it 14-7, um, and I think it's a different ball game. Honestly, I mean, that's an opportunity that we, we have to capitalize on. Um, you know, if we make that happen, we punch that in there. Like I said, 14-7, um, you know, maybe we'll get a little confidence. Um, you know, we get some energy. We get another stop the next drive. We tie it up. You know, you never know. But obviously, you know, there's multiple times in the game that you feel like if you could go back and, you know, make a play there, you know, it could change the course. It could change the outcome at the end. Hey, Chris. This is Chris Idell from Hermitson Radio. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? Doing great. Um, the last two weeks have been shaky you know, under center. What do you have to improve on to get yourself back to where you were a couple of years ago? Right. Um, you know, I think I just got to keep being myself, just keep coming in every day and, um, you know, improving on, you know, whatever the coaches see on film, whether that be – Staying in the pocket, delivering throws, um, you know, putting the ball on them so they can make plays and go get some yak. Um, you know, I think those are things that, you know, I need to improve on. And obviously last week was taking care of the ball um, and, you know, not putting us in a position to, you know, put our defense in a position to have to, you know, do that, make extra stops and, you know, give them good field position, things like that. So, you know, each week I just think, you know, I got to get better and, um, you know, especially going into the next week and then league play, um, you know, I have to be – at my best, when my best is needed. So that's that's simply the truth. And, you know, I got to step my game up and I got to be better for this team and for myself as well.